It's a record number of investors attending this year's conference. Why do you think that is? I don't think we've looked at the correlations, but I have a hunch that uh, very good performance in the funds encourages people to come and hear what might be ahead. Barbara, your talk was um, titled How to Beat the Market with Responsible Investments. And is there proof that responsible investments actually beat the market? Um, there, there are some proof points. Um, one of them is that uh, Morningstar looks at their indexes, their, their uh, ESG indexes, and they actually have quite a few of them, over 40 of them. And over 70% of them have beaten their uh, non-ESG peers. So indexes basically can be looked at as a pool of companies from which you can select. So that's one proof point. And there are, are of course, others that have to do with funds outperforming uh, similar funds without ESG, that the ESG strategy leads to better performance. So I think, yes, there is evidence. But I do want to point out that patterns of return can be different. There can be periods of relative underperformance or overperformance. But in the long run, one would expect looking at these long-term factors like the environment and workplace practices, labor practices, human rights, that these would be positive for a company's brand and for its financial performance. What we have done actually shows that you can store way more energy than anything uh, people are familiar with. So we have improved the energy storage capabilities of batteries, conventional batteries, of about eight times already. So imagine these devices not lasting eight times longer because they can store eight times more energy. Also, we have shown that you don't have to struggle with charging times because we can charge and discharge our devices within fractions of seconds. Uh, we've had a pretty broad uh, canvas with speakers covering a lot of issues. I think uh, the, uh, the observations from uh, Dr. Doom suggest that we may have uh, a rocky ride ahead potentially. I think that uh, we've had a theme around sustainability and the rise of ESG. Uh, I, I suspect that that may lead to potentially bubble type territory ahead in, in certain asset classes which could be uh, an opportunity. I think there's a, there's a very strong sense that uh, this market over the next year is going to be more challenging than in uh, 2019 and I hope that that will give good opportunities for stock pickers like Skarna. I think conferences like this are thought-provoking, uh, providing ideas, uh, providing a look back and understanding. We, In order to know where you are today, you have to know where you've been. But it's also wonderful to hear where you're going. And a conference like this that provides speakers that can uh, share new ideas, in whether it's in technology, energy, geopolitical forces, uh, or even, uh, in my case, uh, trends in ESG and uh, the use of data, technology and AI in managing portfolios. Uh, these are all, I think, useful for everyone to, to get perspective.